Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be the last video in this particular series. Um, and this one is just going to be a short overview of uh, creating introductions and working with transitions in FMOD Studio. If you haven't seen the previous videos, it's probably a good idea to go back and watch those first. Uh, here you can see I've reverted back to a uh, fairly basic version of our music event um, with an explore loop, um, a combat loop and a death loop. Uh, we won't be working with any layers in this video, um, but you can definitely go back and check out video two if you wanna see some more information about layers. So our goal here is to add a little more variety to this particular event. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to create an introduction that will just play once at the beginning of our game level. Um, so I've left a little bit of room here, which if you've watched the previous videos, you know is something that I like to do. I'm gonna go ahead and move this clip over a bit, including all of its little components here. And um, I'll actually make myself a new track and we'll call this intro. And I'm gonna rename this marker to explore or some people like to use the term idle. Note that when I rename the marker, the transition that goes back to that marker is automatically renamed as well. So that's a really cool thing. Okay, so I've got an introductory clip here and I really just want this to play once at the beginning. And I'll go ahead and create a fade in at the beginning of this clip. So there's kind of a synth drone there that uh, can function as an intro when our level first starts. The next thing I'm gonna do is create some transitions that will accentuate and give a little bit of variety to the transitions between our explore and combat loops. And here's how I'm gonna do it. So first I'll give myself another new track and we'll call this transitions. And I've got a few different clips here. One is what I would call a composed transition. Uh, and that sounds like this. And that's meant to be the transition that you'll hear when we go from explore into combat. So a neat thing that was introduced in FMOD Studio 1.06 uh, is something called transition timelines. And what that enables me to do is to create a timeline that's sort of a, a secondary timeline that's not part of the main timeline where I can insert clips that will only play when the transition is executed. So here's how I do this. If I double click on this two combat transition flag that you see here, it will actually open up a sort of hidden part of the timeline. And you can see that it automatically gives me four bars here. Um, I can resize this to be any length that I want. But before we do that, let's go ahead and drop our trans combat clip in here. Okay. And you can see it's two bars long. So I'm gonna go ahead and shrink this down to be exactly two bars. Now watch how this is gonna work. It's pretty neat. We'll go ahead and play through the intro and then uh, we'll loop through once with enemies at zero and then we'll jump to combat. Here we go. So you can see that it loops normally, and once some enemies have spawned, goes ahead and executes the two combat transition here, and that's when the transition timeline plays. You can actually close that transition timeline by double clicking on the transition itself, and that way you don't have to see it on the regular timeline. Okay, so that's what I would call a composed transition where it's actually uh, tied into the music. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to create a transition that plays when we go from combat back to the exploratory loop. So I'll double click again. You can see to explore, I get the four bar transition timeline. And I'm actually going to use a couple of sound effects. So these are what I would call effects transitions. Um, and these are pretty over the top, <laughs> uh, just to, to use as an example here. Um, and here's what the first one sounds like. And here's what the second one sounds like. Okay, so I'm gonna expand this out a little bit. And then I'm gonna grab the two clips 
and drop them onto the transition track. Okay, and I really just want that to be two bars long as well, so I'll trim it down. And then I'm going to trim the transition region itself down to be only two bars long. Um, and now if I leave this open, as you noticed before, we'll see the playhead actually play through the transition timeline. Um, but I also can just close it up. And then this can be a little bit confusing because the playhead will just seem to pause on uh, that transition. Um, and you just have to know from being familiar with FMOD Studio that it's playing a transition uh, timeline that you're not seeing at that particular moment in time. So let's go ahead and give this a listen. I'll play it a couple times. And what you'll hear is that because these were thrown into a multi-sound, as you can see down here in the deck, FMOD Studio will automatically randomly choose one of the two clips. So let's go ahead and listen to that. So there's the TikTok sound. And there's that descending drone. If I double click on the to explore transition, the transition timeline will function the same way, but you won't see it actually working. So as you can hear, the transition timeline worked correctly, but you didn't see it in action. Now one important thing to understand about the transition timelines is when you have a transition in place and you double click it, and it creates the transition timeline, even if you don't put anything into that transition timeline, FMOD Studio will still play it. Okay, so this can lead to some confusion for sure. And now if I double click to close that transition timeline, it may seem like it won't play because you didn't bother to put any clips in there, but it actually will. And the only way that you know that transition timeline even exists is this little dot that you can see there in the transition. So if you wanna get rid of that, what you need to do is double click, open the transition timeline again, and then collapse it all the way down. And now you'll see the little dot goes away and there's no hidden transition timeline underneath there. So again, this can be a very confusing thing, and it's definitely something that's important to understand about FMOD Studio. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out our entire event one more time before we go over and look at it in our game. Okay, so now I'll add some enemies. Go ahead and do that one more time. Okay, and this time we'll test out death and make sure that's working properly. Okay, so everything seems to be working properly. Let's go ahead and check it out in our game. Okay, so here we are in Unity, and I've set my spawn speed back to 30 seconds so that we'll have enough time to kill all the enemies in a wave um, and get back to our exploratory loop. Okay, so let's give it a listen.
All right, that's going to be it for now. I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of implementing music with FMOD Studio, and I hope to see you again soon.